Mark's whole take was uh, the lightness, you know, the smile that he has, it, it's not real. I'm Mike Avila with Sci-Fi Wire, and today I'm joined by Eisner Award-winning artist Paolo Rivera. Hey, thanks for joining us here. Thanks for having me. Daredevil with Mark Wade is, is, is the book that won you an Eisner Award. Um, I think really put you on the map for a lot of people as more than just a cover artist who could paint a really cool, you know, <laughs> superhero image, right? Talk to me about getting together with Mark on that, on that title. Let's see. I think I was on Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man at the time. So I did One Moment in Time with Joe Quesada, and I was just going to keep doing, as far as I knew, Amazing Spider-Man issues. Wacker, he either, he either called me or emailed me. He said, hey, how do you feel about Daredevil? And I was like, yeah, Daredevil, Daredevil, Daredevil is awesome. Uh, but I'm doing this. And he's like, what if I took you off that? So I, I think the plans were already made. Uh, and he had already you know, been talking to Mark Wade about it. He had already assembled in his mind, I guess, me, uh, Marcos Martin, and uh, then we got Javier Rodriguez on, on colors. And uh, you know, I didn't have a whole lot to do with it. I just said yes, because I knew Mark Wade, and I knew it would be good. Talk about the art style for, for Daredevil. Did you have to change how you approach things to, to work in the book? Because it, it's such a, a, a dark book. Um, and it's a book that has a lot of noirish elements to it. For artists, it must be gold because yeah. you really get to, to work with shading and, and lighting and things like that. But is it also a really difficult challenge? Uh, for me, I, I don't know. I, I don't think about it that much. I just kind of like, because I feel like my style changes according to whatever I'm, I'm working on. So there will be some pages where it's like bright and airy and, you know, he's having a great time walking through the streets of New York. And then, you know, then he puts on the mask and he goes out and gets beat up and he's all bloody and dirty and everything. So it, it really just depends for me what the story is. Uh, and then we also had a mandate from Mark and from Steve that we, uh, we wanted to take it in a different direction. And that's, you know, Mark's whole idea was that you can only go so dark. And so we had to bring in you some You guys light. were following the Bendis run. Which was incredibly yeah. dark. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, he, you know, Daredevil had been dark for decades, but especially in, in like in the last decade, it was it was pretty dark. And so we wanted to do that, those kinds of stories as well. But we wanted more of a roller coaster ride for him. And also, you know, Mark's whole take was uh, the lightness, <laughs> you know, the smile that he has. It, it's not real, but he's going to have it anyway. He's going to project that to the world and Foggy and, and the rest of the crew. So it was just an interesting thing because we could do kind of like light and airy art, but at the same time there were some much, much darker tones going throughout the, the entire series. Any particular issue from that run that really stands out to you as saying, wow, we really, really did a great job there? <laughs> uh, you know, there, there are a couple of spreads here and there where I was, I was happy with the way it turned out. Um, the, the cover to number one where I have him and the Billy Club, it's covering his eyes. That was actually going to be the cover to Mythos Daredevil, but that got canceled because I was too slow. So I just put it in my pocket, figured I'd get some point to use it, you know, later on down the line. So that's where that, where that came from. I've been waiting for years to use it. Patience paid off. Yeah, I mean, I always have a bunch of stuff that like, oh, this will be a good idea, but I can't use it yet. Mm -hmm. So I'll just like file it away. It's somewhere on my computer and uh, just pull it out. because. You know, I, I don't know if it was Romita, uh, senior or junior, one of them said, you know, if you've got an, a good idea that you can't use, chances are you'll get another chance if you're already in, you know, the Marvel stable. And, you know, those guys did. It's, it's like you're doing it month in, month out, it, you know, if you're one of those artists. I was never able to quite keep up, but uh, the nice thing is, is, you know, the fans keep coming back, and as long as they keep doing that, then there will be a, an audience for whatever idea that you couldn't get out before. Paolo, thanks for letting us come by and talk with you. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming.